So, uh, is it recording? Oh yeah, it's totally recording. Okay, anyway. <coughs> Hi all, I wanted to talk about something I've come across, and that is the problem of placing one specific context on all the others. Uh, Americans are most guilty of this, but of course it's not just them. The, th the thing is that there's a lot of fantastic literature and studies and reports and ongoing research in America. Some of which is useful generally, but in some areas at least, the world is just a lot more complicated than we're tempted to observe it as. In other words, it just doesn't work like as, as simple. For example, American liberals, in other words, uh, politically left-leaning Americans, have certain values. They tend to have progressive goals, like wealth redistribution, social benefits, expansion of green programs and technology, women's rights, gay rights, racial equality of opportunities, stuff like that. And that's just fine. But the mistake some of them make is assuming that liberals are the same in other countries too, which they aren't. For one thing, liberal doesn't mean left-wing in a lot of places which use the term in its economic sense. If you're economically liberal, you tend to be in favor of free markets. In any case, the in Germany, uh, people who support the Conservative Party, the Christian Democrats, tend to be more affluent and therefore more interested in green programs. Social Democratic parties in Europe, the left-wing ones, tend to be less interested in green programs, which are seen as a luxury interest, than they are in social programs, benefits, and support. In America as well, racism is very much defined by its circumstances, and there are a lot of people who say things like, you can only call it racism when it's white people against people of color. And while I sympathize with the past, the continuing American experience with racism, it utterly ignores all the many forms of racism prevalent in other parts of the world. In Europe, there's a lot of xenophobia, not only of immigrants from Africa and the Middle East, but also from Russia, Eastern Europe, and the Balkans. These people have pretty much the same skin color as Europeans do, but still get a lot of terrible and subjugated treatment. Similarly, I was in Malaysia for a while, which has a uh, comprehensively racial government system. The Malays hold political power and are treated differently from the Chinese and Tamil populations. And the Chinese and Tamil, they feel, they feel um, disenfranchised and treated unfairly compared to the Malays. And the Malays have their own grievances and everything. But to Americans, technically, these are all Asians. There's a fair reason for this because in America, different Asians can have more in common with each other than they are than with other American races, and tend to be considered one lump group in America anyway. But this is still a failure if you make the mistake of thinking that the worst racism in Malaysia is still the privilege of white people over different Asian peoples. It's uh, in Malaysia has its own context, and you cannot just say, well, they're all Asians. You cannot just say it's Asians against white people. In Malaysia, it is Malays and Tamils and Indian, and, uh, sorry, and Chinese. It's a lot more complicated. The point is that the world is complex and wonderful in, in its variety, and that placing any individual context as a framework for the rest is not only wrong, but just doesn't work. I, uh, hope you've enjoyed the background footage at the University of Zurich and Ejaha. I'm happy to see comments and discussion, um, and, yeah, and DFTBA.